Okay, so in unit 10, we're going to start uh, with modal verbs of probability. Now, before I continue, I want to explain what that means, probability. Probability is what we say, we don't know something for sure. Um, so probability um, it means the different levels of guessing. And when we guess in English, we, we use special grammar. Now, um, the first modal verb of probability is must. Now, must is what you say, uh, you don't know the truth, you don't know something 100% for sure, but if you are really sure about something, we use must. Okay, so um, an example, uh, he hasn't eaten anything all day. Well, he must be hungry. Now, is he hungry? I don't know. But I'm really sure he's hungry because he hasn't eaten anything all day. Another example, uh, that is her bag and her coat and maybe her computer. Is she here? Uh, I don't know if she's here, but I'm really sure she's here, so she must be here. So must is what we say when we're really sure, but still we don't know, we're guessing. Now the opposite is not mustn't. No, no, no. The, the opposite is can't. So we say this when we're really, really sure that something is impossible. Maybe it's not true. We don't know, but we're sure that it's impossible. Okay, so the example from the website, their team has just lost. They just lost the game. Are they happy? I don't know. But I'm really sure that happy is impossible. So I say they can't be happy. Right? If it's, if it's really warm right now outside, the weather is really warm, and then you read in the newspaper tonight, snow, well, you say, snow, this is impossible. Of course, I don't know the weather, I can't control the weather, but snow tonight? That's impossible. I'm really, really sure that snow is impossible. So you say, it can't snow tonight. So if you're really, really sure, we say must, or if you're really, really sure that it's impossible, you say can't. Please understand, we don't say mustn't, we say can't. Now. What do we say if you're not really sure? Okay, well, if, you're feel, if you're, your meaning is like maybe. Well, actually, we have three different ways in English to say this. You can say the modal may, might, or could. And don't worry about the difference. The, the difference is really, really small with these. So, um, you know, they always mean maybe. Okay, now... Uh, please understand, you can say may, or you can say the negative, may not. You can say might, or you can say the negative, might not. You can say could, but could not is a little strange. It's not common, so just say might not, or may not. Okay, so will she come tonight? I don't know, I don't know. How do you say maybe, maybe? Well, she may come tonight. She may. I'm not sure. Okay, tomorrow maybe rain. So we say it may rain tomorrow. It might rain tomorrow. It could rain tomorrow. Okay, uh, maybe she doesn't know me. She doesn't know me. So negative. So negative we can say may not or might not. So she may not know me. She might not know me, okay? 
Uh, maybe they don't understand. So again, negative. They may not understand. They might not understand. Now, finally with this grammar, we can also use this grammar to, to talk about, well, right now, uh, continuous meaning. Or, you know, sometimes we use the, the present continuous to talk about future plans. Remember, uh, we studied a long time ago, we studied that if you're really sure about something, um, about a plan, uh, it's very common to use the present continuous. Tonight, I am meeting a friend. Tomorrow, I am going to school. Well, you could say this with a modal, too. Okay? So, of course, remember, continuous sometimes means now, right now. But also, it's very common to talk about future plans with this. Well, both ways are possible with modals. Okay, so where is, I don't know, where is my roommate? Oh, well, maybe now he is working late, maybe. So we can say, he might be working late. He may be working late. He could be working late. That means now, right? Um, now, it was sunny this morning, and my roommate enters the apartment and my roommate is wet and I think oh my goodness rain raining right now this is impossible this morning was sunny so now it's raining okay so it can't be raining it can't be raining I think this is impossible it can't be raining okay right now it's I don't know five o'clock in the morning Okay, so my friend Jennifer, I, I don't want to call her now, it's too early, it's 5 a.m. She must be sleeping, right? She, I'm really sure. Is she sleeping? I don't know, but I'm really sure she's sleeping. She must be sleeping. So those three examples have a present meaning. Now let's talk about a future meaning, okay? Um, <clears throat> tomorrow, he... Uh, he may come, okay, or he might come. Um, same thing. He might be coming tomorrow, okay? So don't worry about the future. It's, this is the, pretty much the same meaning. He may come or he may be coming. Both are okay. Uh, she may have a party this weekend. Well, same thing. She may be having a party this weekend. So this is a future meaning. So one more time, must if we're really sure, can't if we're really sure that it's impossible, and finally may, might, or could if you think, if, you, if you're not sure, if you want to say maybe. Okay, those are modal verbs of probability for the present and the future.